Hello, Ryan here, aka Mac, and welcome. In this video, I take you through the roadmap each week, letting you know exactly what has changed where. As always, a massive thank you to all my patrons and channel members. It is because of you guys that I get to make these videos. If you do enjoy my content and would like to get your referral codes in my videos, like the one in the top left hand corner there, be sure to follow the link in the description below. So before we begin, there was no 4.1 and 4.2 again added to the roadmap this week. Uh, CIG have put out a statement that they are aiming to add the 4.1 column next week with the 4.2 column coming in the near future. Thank God they have let us know. It's painful sitting and waiting each week for nothing. Uh, but I do look forward to the 4.1 next week. Should give us some insight into their aim for this year, but obviously 4.2, God knows when that's coming. Uh, with that said, let us take a look at this week's updates. So let's start with the big news CIG have announced that they are they will be releasing the Karak into the 3.8.2 patch later this month. My guess is it'll come around the 14th of uh, February, Valentine's Day, along with some special Valentine's Day promo, maybe a, a free fly as well. This is not confirmed, this is just my opinion. They, they did it for last year where they had the Heartseek Hornet and so forth. So fingers are crossed, 3.8.2 Karak 14th. We will see. Uh, it's currently on the roadmap at 161 out of 192 tasks, so 31 remain. We know they are just doing a lighting and final polish pass, so things are looking great. Now, on to 3.9. The character Eddie Parr, who is a mission giver at Microtech, 78% complete. 39 out of 50 tasks are done. 11 now remain. For locations, the Clesher Prisons, which we saw on Inside Star Citizen, very excited to see these. They are at 80% complete, 64 out of 80 are done. So two completed since last week, seven were actually added since last week, uh, but, but only 16 now to go. The new Babbage Landing Zone, which includes the whole interior, which is very exciting. That is at 47% complete, 132 out of 282 tasks uh, are done. 23 were done over this last week, 14 were added, and 150 still remain to be done. So there's a long way to go, but I'm sure they're trudging through it. Microtex Moons, they are at 68% complete, 13 out of 19 have been done. 3 were completed last week, 6 remain. I think these are mentioned in the Persistent Universe monthly report, which I will be covering next week so do keep an eye out and subscribe for that one on to gameplay the player interaction system improvements is at 23 percent complete three out of 13 have been done last week this was scheduled so i'm very happy to see it underway this should make interacting with everything to do with the character a lot more intuitive uh, in game as well without having to constantly go to your moby glass to take your helmets off and that sort of stuff so it should make gameplay a lot more smoother 10 are left to go there. Hopefully we'll get a, a little insight into what options we will have in maybe a st Inside Star Citizen sometime. I would love to know how much interaction we'll have with this. A high speed combat. Now this is at 50% done. Two out of four tasks are complete. One was completed last week. We have heard a little bit about this. One thing we know they are doing is requiring the pilot to be at sub SEM speeds in order to fire their missiles. Whether or not this is a good approach or not, I don't know. <sighs> Everything's telling me no, but we'll have to wait and see when we get it in game. Two tasks now remain on that one until it's done. The Law System version 2 Surrender is at 40% complete. Two out of five are done. Three now remaining. This is just basically if you are a bounty and you're being fired upon or chased by the police or a bounty hunter, you will be able to surrender uh, rather than just being killed. Prison missions is at 49% complete, 40 out of 82 tasks are done, 11 were completed last week, but 5 more were added, so there is still 42 to go. I'm looking forward to getting into prisons, as, I, as I've said before, I don't intend on staying in them, but I will definitely check them out and see how much fun there is to be had inside. What missions we're getting, I don't know, but we have seen an image on the latest newsletter of a boxing ring which will be found inside the prisons, will be great fun. Maybe there's a mission requiring you to win a fight or take someone out inside. I don't know, but uh, at least that'll be something fun to do. A restricted area rework is at 20% complete. Two out of 10 have been done, so eight still remain. And finally for gameplay, player status version one, so eating 
drinking and temperature affecting the player is at 53% complete. 28 out of 53 tasks are done. They did complete 14 this week, which is quite good, but six more were added. There is now 25 remaining. So for ships and vehicles, the Taveran Prowler is at 22% complete. 12 out of 54 tasks are done there. Still 42 remain, so a long way to go, uh, but there is no change to the M50 revision. Now finally in 3.9 Cortec, the weather locomotion, so how the weather will affect your character's movements, like putting an arm up in front of his face and so on, that is at 75% complete. 18 tasks out of 24 are done. Three were done over the course of last week. One was removed, in fact. Uh, six now remain. So on to 4.0. In weapons, the Gemini C-54 Ballistic SMG is at 1 out of 27 and the Klaus and Werner Sledge Mass Driver Revision is at 7 out of 31. I believe they were both scheduled last week. I think these have just begun work, so it's good to see them cracking on with that. Uh, Cortec, the Shield System Tech Replacement, which is the signed distance fields, making the shields more form-fitting around the ship, is at 3 out of 8. So again, they've started work on this now. Very excited to see this come into the game. But also, if there's any other ways to use sign distance fields, like with uh, atmospheric flight, it will be very interesting if they can make that happen. Anyway, that is another week without the new column, but we know they're coming next week uh, with 4.1. We know 4.1 is coming, not 4.2, which is very happy to hear this. The Carrack is coming soon as well, which is very exciting. Other than that, 3.9 seems to be making some good progress. There are still three features yet to be started that are in the scheduled state, which are prison uniforms, the M50 revision, and general performance optimizations. They're not really making much progress right now. I also expect we might see a couple of unexpected additions or surprises, like we saw with 3.7 and 3.8. So we'll have to wait and see there. Uh, but anyway, that's it for another week of Roadmap Updates. Do let me know what you think. Make sure you hit that subscribe button for more Star Citizen content and tick the notification bell so you know when my videos go live. Like the button if you are super hyped for 3.9. Follow me over on twitch.tv forward slash Brothers Ryan. Thank you to my patrons and channel members. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.